Welcome, my friends, to another lecture in the Metacognition series. And in this series, or set, we're looking at self-concept. And in this particular video, looking at resiliency and the subject of overcoming the challenges of life. I like this quote, if you want to enjoy the rainbow, you have to endure the rain. You may ask yourself, what is resiliency? Well, resiliency is often referred to as the ability to overcome difficult life events. I've heard resiliency referred to as the ability to bounce back. Uh, uh, most of us have done a lot of bouncing. It's kind of nice to bounce back every now and then. Metacognition plays an important role in personal resiliency and the ability to monitor, evaluate, and modify thoughts and thought processes is essential for dealing with adversity, trauma, tragedy, or other significant sources of stress. A strong, positive relationship exists between the oversight of thought and effective resilience. In other words, what you are thinking has the ability, and, and how you think about thinking and how you monitor your thinking about thinking has the ability to make your resilience more effective. Uh, I want you to note the following. Now, first of all, life happens to everyone. Uh, we're going to go through a couple of events here, but life happens to everyone. At least life happens to you till you die, and then it's all over. Everyone faces the difficulty of life events. Um, one of the things that has always fascinated me is how somebody wants to be somebody else because they think somebody else doesn't have any difficult life events. And this somebody else is thinking, man, I wished I was them so I didn't have to face the things that I face. Everyone faces the difficulty of life events. Everyone has a past. Now, there are good things in the past and there are bad things in the past. For some folks, there are very damaging things in the past and, you know, those things have to be overcome. In my own experience in life, my, my sister, who was two years younger than me, at the age of uh, 20, took her own life because of some things that happened in her past. Everyone has a past. Everyone also has a present. And sometimes the present can be pleasant, and sometimes it can be not so pleasant. Uh, everyone faces life events beyond their control, and resiliency is needed to help overcome the difficulties of the past and the present. And resiliency is also needed to prepare for the future. People have to be able to bounce back from life events if they're going to successfully navigate their way into the future. Several factors impact an individual's resilience. Uh, well, probably the, one of the most important is that that individual has a caring and supportive relationships both within and outside the family unit. Uh, a lot of combinations of this. There may not be caring and supportive relationships. There might be caring and supportive relationships within the family unit. There might be those not within the family unit but outside the family unit. They might be both within and outside the family unit. But caring and supportive relationships have a positive effect upon an individual's resilience. Now, I do want you to note that sometimes those who have no caring and supportive relationships can be very resilient, where those who have these relationships may not have much resilience. Obviously, there are many other factors that face uh, impact resilience as well, but caring and supportive relationships both inside and outside the family unit how play an important role. Solid role models are needed. And the capacity to make realistic plans and carry them to completion, this is the capacity to analyze, to evaluate, to problem solve, to look at strengths and weaknesses, and best uh, strategically position self to accomplish uh, goals and objectives. Positive self-esteem and self-worth are very important aspects of resiliency. We have seen that self-esteem positively impacts self-worth. Well, self-worth positively impacts resiliency for an individual. Strong problem solving and communication skills are, are important, and that's just beyond question. And the capacity to manage feelings and impulses. Now, you will note that many of these, these points that impact an individual's resilience are metacognitive in nature. 
the self-esteem, the self-worth, the problem-solving. The, the capacity to manage feelings and impulses, the, the capacity to make realistic plans is about being able to evaluate self and to move towards a goal. Now, the, the, these factors and the lack of these factors can cause some people's uh, resilience uh, to be very low and they find themselves jailed by the past and, and the past and the present and the circumstances of life just hold them captive. For some people, they're able to soar on the wings of jets into the future because they're able to bounce back from life events. I laugh about this little airplane just a minute and soaring into the future because it comes to mind that there's a saying that it's hard to soar with eagles when you work with turkeys. Well, if you're resilient enough, you, you should be able to survive. Some strategies can be used to enhance an individual's resilience, one of those is to make connections. I want you to realize that, that friends and family and those support mechanisms are very, very important. Uh, I'm reminded of a friend I had many years ago that lived his life in such a way that he would alienate himself from anybody that cared about him. I mean, he tried that with me several times, but I I wouldn't accept it, and I just kept coming back and eventually gave up and decided I was going to be his friend anyway. But you, to have friends, you have to make conscious decisions that, that you want to be a friend. And you have to make and guide your thoughts so that you are able to analyze and evaluate circumstances fairly. But those connections help you with your resilience. Just to put it bluntly, we need each other. People need people. We are herding creatures. We have strong herding instincts. And when we're with the herd, things just seem to be a little bit better. You need to accept that change is inevitable. The only thing that doesn't change is that change is going to occur. <laughs> so uh, the fact that change is going to occur is unchangeable. Life is filled with change. And I know every morning when I get up and look in the mirror, I see how much I've changed over the night. Change is going to happen. And accept that problems happen. There are some in this world that feel that uh, they need to be living a perfect life with no problems, no difficulties, and when something happens, they just go berserk. Friends, you need to adjust your thinking to understand reality and that life is filled with challenges and uncertainties and change, and problems are going to happen. So, you know, you expect that they're going to happen, and when they do happen, you just don't freak out. You stay calm under fire. And practice self-discovery. Self-discovery is, is really another way of saying learn from mistakes, uh, learn from successes, be able to, to evaluate yourself, your thought processes, uh, figure out what works for you and what doesn't work for you, and then put those things that work for you into practice and then kind of limit those things that don't work for you. Keep life in perspective. Now that's, that's a very powerful uh, part of the thoughts that we have is that we have a, a, a real vision of life itself and we can keep events in perspective. I'm reminded a number of years ago, one of my, my dear friends who gets his doctorate, I'm his major professor, gets it this fall in December, was coming out of his second stat class. And I had him in the first one, and that was hard enough, but the second one was really bad, and he was just shaking. Oh, I said, well, how's it going? Oh, I'm headed to that test. I said, well, what's the worst thing that could happen? He said, well, I could fail the test. I said, no, that's not the worst thing that can happen. That's really minimal. What if you went home and, you, and, and your, your, your child, your son, whom you love, had cancer? What, what, if, what if your wife had a heart attack? Uh, I mean, you know, go down the list. And he looked at me and said, well, it could always get worse, can't it? Yes. You have to keep life in perspective. Some of the things that you spend your, your, your greatest energies being concerned about really don't matter in the long run. And if something's not going to be important in a year from now, why do you want to spend all your time driving yourself crazy over today? When you get life in perspective, you become more resilient. Things happen. Life happens. Change occurs. 
We all make mistakes. Let's learn from them and let's keep life in perspective. And of course, as we've talked about uh, self-esteem and self-worth, you need to nurture a positive view of yourself. One of my favorite commercials when I was young is an old commercial that showed this big old fat guy running across a bowling alley and had a bowling ball in his hand and he bounces across and throws the bowling ball. And it's to the song that there's nobody else in the whole human race with your kind of style and your kind of grace. Uh, well, you know, there's nobody else quite like me. Uh, I've got a past. The old dog was a pup once. Uh, I've got a present. Uh, I had grandkids stay and sleep with me last night. That's why I have such dark circles under my eyes. Allie, who we call Alligator, wrestled Papa all night long, called out calf rope three times, and she still didn't let me up. Life occurs. We have a past. We have a present. We have problems. We have trials. But listen, we're going to overcome. We are valuable people. We make a difference. And if we don't nurture a positive view of ourselves, then who else is going to? And you have to maintain a positive outlook. We're going to overcome. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to be all right. Uh, you know, we may have setbacks. We may face trials. But you know, it could always be worse. And I'll tell you what, I don't care what case you're in. There's somebody in the world that would gladly change places with you. Maintain a positive outlook. And then, of course, monitor and guide your thought processes. Very, very important that you put in place the metacognitive strategies that we've talked about to monitor and guide how you think and what you think. Again, I want to thank you very much for your patronage in the word of the old Vulcans, peace and long life. And if you see a Vulcan, the correct response is uh, live, uh, well, live long and prosper, then peace and long life. Those interchange. Have a great day. Go out and conquer life. Bounce back. Don't let it get the best of you.